In this video, I'm going to give you three examples of multivariable functions and we'll state its domain and its range. So get a 3D graph plotter and punch this in and you will get a, a, a 3D surface looking something like this. Because of this square root here, it will give you a, um, a, a square root umbrella-like surface. So, uh, so this is like, I hope you can see a square root uh, surface here. It is a square root surface. I hope you can see it. So, um, so, so in a way, your square root graph looks like this. It is a 3D square root umbrella-like surface. Um, well, anyway, punch this into a 3D graph plotter. It will give you this. To work out its domain, look at this bit here. To work out its domain, you got to look at this bit here. So imagine, imagine this thing here as being um, this thing here. You to work out the domain, try and figure out when this thing will break down. When will this thing break down? It will break down when this is less than zero. So, so to work out the domain, when you think about the domain, think about when will this break down? It will break down when the bubble, when that bubble there is less than less than zero. So, demand this bubble to be greater or equal to zero. So now you can add x squared to both sides. So that that will then give you this. So this is your domain. This is your domain. Um, so so when you think about the domain, think about when this thing will break down. It will break down when uh, when it's less than zero. So demand this to be greater or equal to zero, and then it will lead you to this. And then the range. When when it comes to the range. Um, think think of this as being like a machine. Imagine as like being a machine. So you input x and y, and it will spit out a number. It will spit out one number. It will spit out a number. Well, this not well. What could the range is? What could this be? Well, if you think about it, this thing here, it has a potential to grow as big as it wants. This bubble here has a potential to grow as big as it wants. So if, if you um, if you just look at this bubble here, you can put a really big number into the y. So let's say nine 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 nine, and then you can put a, re a really small number. Let's say two two squared is four. You see, it, it is possible to make this bubble as big as you want. So um, so really the range has to be to uh, towards infinity, and it has to be strictly less than infinity. So when you use uh, infinity here, you have to use a a round bracket because well this here you you can't use this it has to be strictly less than infinity well because we know that this bubble can has a potential to grow as big as it wants we know that this whole thing here will be as big as it wants so that's why it's heading towards infinity um and and uh the smallest that this thing here c c could be is is zero and it can include zero so we say the range is this and it, it um, this squared bracket means it, it can include zero if you use this it means it has to be strictly greater than zero but it but here we, we're trying to communicate that it can be zero so we've got to use a squared bracket well let me give you some more examples hopefully you can pick it up so get a 3d graph plotter and punch hang on let me just move this across Bear with me. Okay. All right. So, um, get a three D uh, graph plotter. Punch this in, and it will give you a surface looking like this. Um, well, when when you when you punch this into Google, it will give it will give you the ability to to um, to rotate this three D surface, so you can see what's going on. But let let me just describe this to you. Here you've got are uh, four separate surfaces. So here you can think of this as like being a cube here. So this is one cube and this is like another cube here and this is another cube. This is uh, right at the back there's another cube and they're, 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 they're separate so you've got really you've got four surfaces. Well anyway punch this in and it will, it will give you a surface looking like this. So, um, so when it comes to the domain, look at this bit here. When will it break down? It will break down when this is zero. So, for you to work out the domain, uh, demand that this cannot be zero. 
So that is your domain. Just just um, meaning meaning that uh, if meaning um, if if you look at the um, the the domain for this, so dom- remember the domain is um, is a two D surface. So this is your x y z. Remember the um, the domain is the two D uh, plane, two D plane. So um, so when when you demand that x y cannot be zero, it basically means it can't be the on the x axis and it can't be the y axis because if y is zero, then the whole thing is zero. If x is zero, then the whole thing is zero. That's why you've got this. Um, that's why. That's why all the uh, four surfaces are separated, because because x and y cannot be zero. So that's why you've got four separate surfaces. Well, anyway, the domain is this thing here, and the range. Um, if you think about it, the range can be as low as it wants in the negative direction. That's why you've got this thing here. It will never be zero. This thing here will never be zero. So so it can it can it can never be zero. It can't be dead on zero. That's why we use this curly bracket. And then you've got union and then uh, and then zero. It can never be zero and it has the potential to go all as big as it wants. So it heads towards infinity. Well the range will be this. Okay? So one more example. Get a 3D graph plotter, punch this in and it will give you this surface. Um, hope well that hopefully you can see there's a sign element to it. There's a sign element to it within this surface. Well, we'll give you this surface here. The the domain. When you think about the domain, think about when this thing will break down. Well, this thing here will never break down. You can have sine of nine thousand eight hundred and seventy-two if you want to. Um, it will never break down. You can have sine of zero, because if any. Uh, if this is zero and this is ninety-seven, uh, then the whole thing, the whole thing will be zero. The point here is that this is valid. This is valid. The domain is the entire xy plane, so that's your domain. And uh, and if you look at this here, the range. I hope you can accept that the range can be uh, negative one. Well, it's between negative one and one. I hope you can see that. Okay.